Hey everybody, Happy New Year's. Rick Needham handicapping thoroughbred racing on New Year's Day, Friday, January the 1st, 2010. And this is my Equibase Winter Circle Major Track Report. Let's go to the Big A first aquatic race course in New York City, race 3, 124 p.m. Eastern Post Time for the Interboro Handicap. It's a six furlong sprint on Aqueduct's inner dirt track. Phillies and mares, three years old and up. Race first stakes purse of $65,000. Contenders number one, Distorted Passion. Number two, East Breaks. Number five, Awesome Ashley. And number four, Camera Oculta. Number one, Distorted Passion is the overall speed leader in this field, sprinting at six furlongs on the dirt. Has hit the board in power run fashion in four of her last five. Goes to the post of the New Year's Day feature with the skills of the driver uh, excuse me, <laughs> jockey trainer tandem of Javier Castellano, Todd Pletcher in her corner. They've hit the board with 55% of their entry saddles as a team to date producing a positive 14% return on investment in the process. Number two, East Breaks, an 8-1 to one shot, has hit the board in four of the last five overall, including a pair of power run wins being in, embedded in this recent streak of racing consistency. Race three, summary, number one, Distorted Passion, tops my contenders list, which also includes number two, East Breaks, number five, Awesome Ashley, and number four, Camara Kulta, one, two, five, four, and the third today from Aqueduct, the $65,000 Interborough Handicap. Out west we go next to Santa Anita Park, also racing on New Year's Day, race 9, 4.07 p.m. Pacific Post Time. It's a six, for, six and a half furlong sprint on Santa Anita's unique downhill shooted turf course. We're racing for a stakes purse of $100 thousand dollars. Contenders number six, Campari. Number seven, Shadow of Illinois. Number one, Best Dressed. And number eight, Live Sundays. Number six, Campari. Nice early speed abilities to complement for this sprint has hit the board in each of his four career starts to date, winning three, including back-to-back -back power run wins in his last two starts. Number seven, Shadow of Illinois comes off back-to-back-to-back. -to -back -to -back power run wins in his last three starts. Race 9 summary. Number 6, Campari tops my contenders list, which also includes number 7, Shadow of Illinois, number 1, Best Dressed at number 8, Live Sundays, that's 6, 7, 1, 8 in the featured race 9 today from Santa Anita Park. A couple of bonus long shots for you as usual, folks. Let's go to Hawthorne first. Race 8, check out the 10 to 1 bomb, number 8, too many sins, drops in class, the overall speed leader in this allowance field, racing at or about today's distance of 8 and 1 half furlongs on the dirt. He also raced at Turf Paradise in Phoenix, Arizona on New Year's Day. Uh, race number 3, entry number 2, traffic update, 5 to 1 shot, the overall speed leader in this allowance field, sprinting at today's distance of 6 furlongs on the dirt. So handicapping from both Aqueduct and Santa Anita Park on New Year's Day, Rick Needham reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over it.